Okay, hello everyone, this is Zach here. So, would like to do a quick sound check, please. Is my sound coming okay? And uh, is my screen everything is okay? Right, just uh, top of one for me. If my sound and screen is, is okay, right? And uh, we're gonna start shortly. Okay, so today, uh, especially this is I think for uh, some of the new members, okay, to go through with you. Uh, what is actually is uh, chip VSA and uh, as on the pro dashboard side or probably on the screener side Okay, so I will try to cover uh, as much as possible. So of course for members, uh, please uh, click to join the um, The upcoming well building course. Okay, because on that course as well I'm going to go through some of the you know basic uh, VSA too. Okay, of course we will talk more uh, in the weekly and money training and uh, of course, very important to go through the sound of the video tutorial as well. Okay, so just want to check is my sounds everything is fine. <clears throat> okay, so far I got no response yet. So hopefully my sound everything is fine before I start. Okay, we will start right now. Okay, so um. Let's see what we have here. So again, for members, uh, well, this is basically is your uh trip trip is a pro dashboard. So once you uh sign up, uh, you should be able to log into this uh dashboard. Let me go to the homepage. Okay, so for members, if let's say for example, once you log in, ready. Okay, hello, uh, Mr. Chong. Okay, so thank you for the confirmation. So once you uh log in, if let's say in case. Uh, you realize that your membership actually is under free membership okay just let me know because sometimes due to cage uh, it actually will turn back to the free mem uh, free membership okay so what you do is you just let me know then from there actually I will uh, re-upgrade for you back okay to the pro dashboard okay now a uh, few things that usually I'll look into uh, under this uh, pro dashboard over here so like I said especially for new members you can actually come to this uh, learning okay to know more about uh, what is trip BSA? So my, uh, technically my suggestion is that uh, best is that you go through, uh, this seven day VSA series. Okay, because in this seven day series, uh, technically I will actually go through you know the most of the uh, base of VSA over there. Okay, so from here you actually can, uh, you know learn. Okay, what is especially what is uh you know something like you know SOS S and SOW. So if not, you can actually go to this BSA grocery. Okay, so for example, just now some member uh they're asking me uh what is NS. Okay, so for example, I go to N over here, so this is NS no supply, so you can read the uh quick uh definition, okay, what it means by, by NS no supply. Okay, so let's say SP, okay, go to S, spring, SP representing spring. Okay, so this is uh some of the you know quick definition for spring. Okay, so let's say best is that you go through the seven days series. Okay, so especially for those who sign for masterclass, I think it's very important to you know at least understand the basic of you know what is one spread analysis. Okay, now the few things is that uh from here as well, of course premium menu is actually for uh our masterclass students. So of course currently uh Martins and uh we actually open up for for all. Uh, I think uh Martin say that we're gonna to uh you know give all member for free trial for a month. Right, so technically this is a class of closest screener where we use this technique uh, in the master class. Okay, I know a lot of members ask uh, how to actually do the intro day. I think Martins will uh, guide some member from time to time in the members uh, Telegram channel or, or to the groups over there. Okay, so we also will uh, include okay, this technique as well, okay, moving forward in the master class. Okay, so this is some of the stocks that actually it picks up okay, from the COC screener. Okay, now few thing is uh from the screen here. I think it's, this is very important, especially for uh new members over here. So first of all, usually what I do is that whenever I come to uh choose a dashboard, okay, it's very important to look into the sector indices. Okay, because uh this is how actually I want to know where should I start first. Okay, what is the stocks that uh I want to look into first, or what the, what is the group that I should look into first? Okay. Now I know the the loading is a bit slow, okay, probably because of the, uh, because of the uh you know the, the data processing parts uh over there, okay. So KIC sector screener, okay. So if you notice, only actually got two still in green color, which is first technology, okay, making a pullbacks over there, and uh construction, okay. So construction actually got a gap, so I have to be careful. So and now currently it's below the twenty forties. 
so this is actually um uh you know it's like a uh at least you know a, a guide okay for you to you know what is the stocks that you probably want to uh monitor okay if let's say in case you are looking for something for short term okay hello cool thank you for joining me today so usually what i do is that uh if let's say you are especially for those that who following the pentagon guider trading rules okay portfolio system you want to trade when the krc is in green pentagon okay so at the moment is still in uh red okay for this is year to date six months uh three months okay so it seems like we got a ns but they are still actually below the 2040s okay but kind of good okay if you look into this three month chart okay hopefully the green pen will turns back like, huh? so it seems like they are hitting some double bottom okay so we got some ns if you realize here we got ns okay on the closing on the friday okay so what you do uh of course like people like me i always like to buy green pen over 2040s so at least they got some uh you know momentum for them to hit certain resistance okay so hopefully we'll see that next week okay because it actually form a nice ns in this area okay so the next thing is that you want to you want to do is that you wait for the uh at least you know the the right sector to turn to green pentagon okay now currently lots of is in red for me construction also not very nice anymore because even though it's in green still in green okay but if you notice it actually failed to hold above the green pentagon Usually, I like to do is that when it turns to uh, green pentagon, it actually hold above the green pentagon. Okay, like in the case like uh, technology. Okay, so you want to see that. Okay, so what you do is that you probably you want to be more uh, a little bit of patience right now. Okay, let's see what is the uh, sectors that you know turning to green soon. Okay, so if not, uh, another things that you can do is that if you look into these pentagons, right? So you want to check like for example property. Okay, red pentagons, but if you notice, it actually didn't uh drop that badly. Okay, so for example, telecommunications, right? Red pentagon, it dropped uh more than three percent. Okay, so probably this is a a bigger drop. Okay, uh compared to property. So in this case over here, probably I would like to uh not to say you you cannot focus in uh telecommunications, but just that probably you want to. Uh, focus a little bit more on on property okay so just in case they turn to green pentagon so for example here they're actually still holding well on on the 40 okay which is things that uh i think is still worth to pay attention to okay let's zoom in into three months okay we got one two three three tests okay three tests uh holding well on the 40 m8 okay now for those that who don't know uh, this green pentagons indicator actually come together with 2040 moving average okay if you look into the trading view charts over here okay so this is the green pentagons uh, the gray colors okay is the 20 ma okay the purple color is the 40 ma okay so if you look back into this chart over here let's go back to our dashboard okay the gray color is 20 ma the purple color is 40 ma so at the moment uh, the property is still holding on the 40 MA but of course like I said we want to wait for the green pentagons okay so here for example goes up pullbacks green pentagons okay goes up okay so here I'm not sure probably you still sideways before it turns back to green pentagon okay so we want to see that okay now just uh, a quick one just want to ensure all members uh, here at least you know uh, understand or probably can follow so far okay hello Wong thank you for joining me so type a one for me please okay if you okay so far okay if you're okay so far so this is some of the things that uh technically i what i would do personally okay for time to time you know, no need to do this every day okay because sometimes the sector doesn't really change every single day but i think it's good to at least come back to uh check it okay once uh once a week or maybe twice a week okay hey hello john thank you for joining me okay so this is just to you know, at least I know, like for example, consumer right, uh, red pentagon eleven days, okay. But um, they are still, you know, seems like didn't drop that badly overall. Okay, so here we got NS. Okay, let's pull back to three month chart. Okay, but this one below twenty forties. Okay, so seems like uh, at the moment seems like you know property is still holding on twenty forties. Okay, so let's look for the others. Okay, energy. Oh, energy is still holding well on twenty forties on the forties. Okay, sorry on the forties. Let's switch to three months. Okay, no much sound or strength, but again, we want to ensure there's another green pentagon coming back. Okay, from here, like for example, here right, it dropped green pentagon, then they got some sort of like a you know momentum's coming. Okay, 
All right, so this is uh, how I use it personally, okay, for my um, uh, sector screener. Okay, so from here, actually, then I will know that, okay, uh, probably, you know, properties I can focus and, uh, you know, maybe uh, energy I can focus, okay. Now, what you do next, okay, so like I said, you know, in, uh, sorry, like Martin mentioned uh, previously, you know, in this dashboard here, actually, we cater for different type of uh, traders because, uh, actually, this system is built, you know, around some of the coaches and uh, some of the feedback from, from members, okay? So, if you want something short-term, you can go for the intraday, uh, for that's for the master class students. Uh, if you want something uh, probably mid to long-term, you can use the FA growth or maybe, you know, the list from CoI uh, and, 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 the, and the fundamental, okay, the FA dividends, okay? Now, for example, okay, let's look, let's look into something that's... Uh, uh, mid to long term okay now because on the well building course as well i'm going to talk about more on the weekly charts okay so here okay now for example right we already identified okay potentially there is a uh, uh you know energy and and property sectors okay that is still holding very well okay what i do is that i will go to the uh, screeners again okay so i will go to this okay fa growth yeah okay, go to this fa growth so from here i to see what is the stock that actually fulfill the criteria as FA growth, okay, for energy counters and uh, property counters, okay. So from there, I actually want to check, is there any, you know, potentially a, a chance for them to do a pullbacks, green pentagon, sound strengths, sound strengths, then we want to look into it, okay. Oh yeah, it, this is kind of, uh, sorry, because now I look into Tomei. Uh, Tomei actually really nice, uh, okay, for those that who follow, just want to show you before I forgot. Okay, it got a, but unfortunately for those that who miss, okay, this is really 8% movement. Uh, double NS, hopefully you spot, okay, the, the very nice double NS over there. Okay, and uh, if you look into hourly charts, they got an NS too. Okay, they got NS too, okay. So, uh, a very strong accumulation type of stocks over there. Okay, but I think don't worry, let's see whether it got, it got a pullback or not, okay. So, okay, let's look into uh, this growth. Okay, we want to look into... Okay, I put hundreds. Okay, you should have sort, uh, you know, according to industry. So from here, I want to see which one is energy. Okay, we got four energy. Okay, of course, Subba no more lah. <laughs> okay, but anyway, this is how usually I look into into the screeners. Okay, so if let's say, uh, rate. Okay, very easy. Rate downtrending. Okay, rate is downtrending. Okay, green is. Uh, likely holding well above the support level. Okay, so SD and LT. Okay, just a quick one from here. SD representing the 50-day moving average. Okay, LT representing the 200-day moving average. Okay, so if let's say green colors like for example 4% and 11%, which means they are actually above 4% uh, from 50MA, 11% from 200MA. Okay, so this is the type of stocks that we want to look into because we want to see. Uh, the stock actually is holding more certain support level. Okay, not below. Okay, if let's say below, technically this is still considered a, a downtrending kind of stocks. Okay, so uh, to put it this way, okay, we want to look for something small green. Okay, we want to look for something more green or uh, maybe purple. Okay, purple is okay, but you don't want to choose that. You know, two trending one. Like for example, Insta still okay lah, thirty one percent. But some some purple color, if you realize, they already like hundred percent, two hundred percent, which means the price is way far away. Okay, from support. So sometimes you want to be careful on the uh, a big pullback is coming. Okay, so what I do is that usually I like I kind of likes to look into uh, green colors. Okay, of course red colors do, uh, are not that interested anymore because sometimes your screener right sometimes your screener you got around like 20, 30, 40 stocks. Okay, so what you do is that you just want to focus something is in green or maybe purple. Okay, if let's say too bearish, like for example this one. No, okay, so about dynamic. This is obviously is in downtrend stocks, okay? Now let's look into these uh, three counters, okay? Because this is three uh, energy fulfilling the FA growth. Okay, now before I move on, okay, just want to ensure everything here is, uh, everyone here is, is uh, still following, okay? By typing a one for me, please, okay? Typing a one for me, please, okay? If you can follow why I look into Yin Sun, T7, and, and Bumi Amada. Okay, let's look into T7. Okay, let's look into T7 Global. Okay, so it seems like making a reversal. Okay, overall big pictures, I mean, is uh, going back to uh, 2020. This is, seems like a, it's an accumulation here. 
Okay, so seems like side with no much direction, eh? But potentially can can play around with the support resistance. Okay, potentially can play around with support resistance, but there's no clear trend over here. Okay, short term wise, probably uh can look into okay because they actually cross with high volume here. We got some high volume if you're to cross by here, high volume successfully cross, okay. But overall I think I kinda of like boom out my more because this is uh one of the energy cards that I'm still uh following a lot. Okay, so let's look into Ying Sun first before we go to uh Boom Madam. Oh okay, not that bad, okay, because I think my uh Petra also it actually dropped below. Okay, thank you, Wong. Okay, so uh especially for other members, okay, let's say uh you all got any question please stop me okay just let me know so from there i can you know probably uh uh you know explain in more details okay so ying sun weekly chart still in green okay seems like holding walls okay probably will start with for a while okay if let's say i look into the daily chart here uh over this period here is low volume okay still pretty good but uh i think among all i kind of like boom yang okay let's check again okay you got a wash over here Okay, but successfully pushing back. Okay, so for Bumi Abanda, okay, the reason why because they actually crossed the uh PS resistance here. One, two, okay, drop below. Okay, so it seems like they are trying hard to going back. Okay, so it seems like this is a false breakout. Okay, but it's not a major one for me because if you look into the volume here, okay, it doesn't show uh increasing volume on the down part. Yeah, it, it do have increasing volume, but it's not the uh, highest volume okay it's not the highest volume so if i look into weekly weekly still in green okay so sometimes uh do like this test back goes up okay so this is how we use the uh pentagon and beauty charts okay so overall uh yeah boomer does boomer model still pretty good okay so let's look into uh just now we have another one is property okay let's scroll down and go to property Okay, technology over still doing pretty well as well. Okay, property OIB. Okay, O this is Oriental. Uh both is in purple, but uh still okay, right? Because if let's say some purple is like 50, 60, 70 percent, then will be like too trending already. So if let's say 70 percent still okay. Let's do let's look into OIB. Let's switch back to daily. Okay, we've got an NS over there. Okay, this is a change of behavior style of stocks. Okay, technically I got a few COB stocks that is I think worth to pay attention to. Okay, this one's still good. Uh. Okay, probably um closer to that 20 MA would be nice. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it will it will work for us for a while. Okay, uh LBS HCK Ibraco matrix. Okay, all those in red probably we just skip first. Okay, we just want to focus those in red. Uh, sorry, those in green. Okay, those in green want to focus. Red color we we skip first. Okay, if not too many stocks, right? So okay, we got a big up trust here, but it seems like this they are still holding more on the twenty MA weekly chart. Definitely still in green. Okay, we got here green NS hit resistance. Okay, so let's switch back to daily. Daily is still holding on on spring. Okay, but this one too close with green pen and gone. Uh. Hmm. Okay, the next green pentagon probably can trade, okay, because they are about to break the resistance. Okay, so sometimes uh one of the things is that uh I don't like to trade. It's not that it's not good, I think overall it's still it's still it doesn't show a major weakness, even though yes, this is a big UT. But sometimes it will like like this was because before it goes up. Okay, so here to here can be 10-20% sometimes. Okay, so best you want to wait for the uh green pentagon. Okay, let's say they are like very close with the with the uh resistance. Okay. Now if you look into this chart over here, again it's not a buy call. Okay, th this is not a buy call, but just that uh personally there are a few things I look into because lots of um property counter actually they are still over here in my opinions. So for example, this is one of the stock that I'm I'm actually still following, okay? Uh which is Centoria. Okay, Centoria somewhere around here. And then KSL. 
okay so okay so they are still like you know somewhere around here okay so hopefully uh more volume will pick up moving forward okay probably you know this is a time that you want to check okay you let's say property sectors turn back to green pentagon then you want to look for those that you know is in 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 a very really nice accumulation okay so uh let's continue to look into these stocks okay hck okay let's go into hck Ah, this one is already trending la. <laughs> Okay, lots of NS Okay, so this one you can ride along with the trend Okay, but one thing, be careful Okay, this kind of stocks is uh, Like I say, I kind of like those stocks that It, it goes up Reaccumulation then goes up Okay, if let's say it continues to goes up without much of uh, Reaccumulation Okay, uh, you want to be careful on Java high volume Okay Again, this is remind me of uh, MGLC if I'm mistaken. Ah, yes, MGLC. So if let's say the stock continue goes up, goes up, goes up without much of the reaccumulation. Okay, you want to be careful on this kind of bar. Okay, one big wide spread drop below the forty. This is a bar that you want to trouble first. Okay, so later on you want to check is there any sound strings coming back or not. Okay, now it seems like this bar coming high volumes already, but again we need more. Uh, signal and confirmation. Wow, this is a bit remind me like Tafi lah. Eh, kind of remind me like Tafi. Yeah, I think Tafi. Okay, here. Okay, it dropped below twenty forties. NS. Okay, it dropped below twenty forty NS, and it come with high volume. Okay, notice here high volumes, increasing volume lah. Okay, so let's see. Maybe MGLC got a final round before it dropped. So okay, now if let's say okay again, not a buy call. Okay, not a buy call, but just that in case you interested. Okay, in 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 um, MGLC. Okay, because again, some members like in uh exciting uh counters, right? So what you do is that you want to use okay hourly chart in this case. Okay, so here um hourly chart, I think I do see some COC. Okay, I, I do see some high volume cross 2040s. Okay, the line chain is pretty well as well. It closed very well. Okay, if you look into Tafi, okay, because Tafi kind of remind me like this kind of patterns. Okay, because Tafi is a one of counters that uh, previously been following very closely over here. Okay, so it closed, drop, it grows up again successfully, you know, staying above 2040s. Okay, so you have to trade along with the uh, hourly chart. Okay, if let's say still interested in in MGLC. Okay, so let's continue to look for uh, these stocks over here. Ibraco, uh, probably I just pick one or two lah. Uh, okay, let's look into matrix. Okay, before I go to others screen because I I want to cover more. Okay, in this section here. Okay, so matrix is a bit type of um slow and steady type. Okay, but again, if you ask me, uh, compared to Again, just a personal preference, okay, personal preference. So if I look into HCK and Matrix, probably I would prefer more on uh, HCK. Uh, sorry, Matrix, okay, sorry about that. Okay, I prefer more Matrix because why? Matrix just recently uh, break above the reaccumulation. Again, like I say, when the stock is in a strong uh, uptrend, or maybe a good uptrend, okay, not those very strong one, a, a nice, good one, I like to have this type of... Uh, you know, reaccumulation. Okay, to ensure that you know they just completed certain, uh, you know, buying from a small money and they still continue to ride. Okay, so if let's say they continue to go up in the trend without much of reaccumulation, sometimes you need to be a bit worried. Uh, like MGLC or Tafi, you know, sometimes it will make a big wash, then goes back up again. Okay, so sometimes they do that. If not, they will surely make a make make a big uh downtrend over there. So okay, now let's look into HCK. Okay, oh, this one I haven't linked it yet, nah. So okay, I will check from here. Okay, let's look into HCK. HCK Ruby ratings. Uh, no Ruby ratings. Okay, so usually this is how I do a quick chat on the FA. I realize a lots of the Ruby ratings. Oh, six, seven out of eight. Okay, for Ruby ratings. Uh, PE almost seven times dividends. Okay, ROE fourteen percent. Okay, and um, 
we got this uh, SD sorry TP1 TP2 from Smart Ruby as well so probably want to look into it okay so seems like uh, HCK and Matrix looks like uh, you know in terms of chart setups recently break over the accumulation and uh, based on Smart Ruby seems like this rating is high again no buy call but just a personal preference okay so let's do into cost so this is from uh, John okay let's do into cost the contract energy stock as well okay holding on on the uh, on the so-called pullback area okay so actually at first uh, because I'm following this cost of contract as well a bit a bit worried to look for the entry because I afraid it's a pump and dump okay the the white spread bar is just so wide uh, volume is so huge sometimes you know after a few bar you just drop uh, badly okay I think recently there's one counters uh, what counters really eh? IP Muda is it because Friday actually I can't busy ah yeah IP Muda okay so this is one of them so if you look into a uh, coastal contract at least you know at the moment they are still holding pretty well so I think yes uh, kind of like a solid tower for accumulations right now okay so okay uh any other stocks? Any other stocks? Mm. Okay, I think property so far on this view. Okay, again, let's like say if let's say rate, maybe on the award. Okay, be on the award. Okay. Okay, hello Kim. Thank you for joining me. Okay, now this is how I actually use for the uh, FA growth screener. Okay, so this is uh, sometimes you go to Kelsey's sectors there. Uh, try to see you know what's the group of stocks that is worth to pay attention. Then you come to here to look into the stocks. Now let's look into some things that um probably uh relating to trade setup. Okay, so most of the time, again my preference will be on no supply. Okay, of course COC and followed by the green pentagon. Okay, followed by green pentagons. So let's look into uh no supply first. Okay, I probably you know go through some of the uh, uh screeners. Then we go into a bit of uh chart setup and review. Okay, there are a few counters uh also showing a very interesting kind of setup okay now who uh, any members here okay actually attended the other day when I talked about COB uh, change of behavior if not mistaken on last Monday am I right is this Monday or last Monday I can recall so I do talk about about, CO, about COB stocks right and some of the COB stock actually showing more strength okay probably I'll share with you all this is uh, the, the list over there Okay, so uh, we've got a few NS over here. Now, the rules for me is very simple. Okay, in case, uh, some, especially if some new members, you've let's say, to look for the trades, okay? Trade setups, okay? Doesn't matter, you use COC, Pentagon, NS. Okay, in this case here, I will use NS. Okay, you try to trade along with the green Pentagon, okay? For new members, okay? Because uh, if, let's say, you attended the masterclass, you know pullback, I think, uh, yes, no, no worries, because sometimes the pullback, uh, can come with the red pentagon okay so example just want to share with you uh, what it means so some uptrend is like this okay slow and steady okay probably let, let me make it darker a bit huh? okay so some uptrend is slow and steady right it goes up it doesn't make a climatic movement pull backs goes up it doesn't make a climatic movement and pulls back okay so that's why uh, the green pentagons it was you know it will stay along with the trend okay without any red pentagon Okay, because it goes up, probably here to here is only ten uh, percent. Uh, when it pull back, it's only pull back three percent. Okay, so it won't trigger the red pentagon. Okay, now some is uh, moving in more uh, bigger movements. Okay, especially those penny counters. So sometimes they goes up. Okay, thirty percent. Okay, and it pull backs. Okay, twelve percent. Okay, and goes up again twenty percent and pull this pull back again. 15% maybe okay so this is uh, this will cause the red pentagon will trigger sometimes okay and green pentagon will trigger back red pentagon and green pentagon okay so in this case here you often see you no know, red green red green okay because of the volatility of the of the stocks okay but it doesn't mean that this kind of stock it will go into uh, bearish, bearish signals okay or maybe uh, downtrend okay so this is the area that we want to look for pullback so NS is one of the way to look into it okay so that's why um if let's say you're totally new, okay, you 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 are new in, in trading, you are new in VSA, or maybe you're new in pullback methods, okay. I think best you follow the green pentagon. 
if for those members uh, attend the masterclass, you're okay, so you apply the pullback methods, okay? So the other things that I think this is very important for me, I would like to trade above the 2040s, okay? I want to trade above the 2040s to ensure that at least I'm I'm riding along with the, with the trends, okay? I'm riding along with the trends, okay? Now, again, very important, okay? Don't trade if, let's say, your risk is more than 8%. Okay, sometimes, okay, sometimes, again, I cannot control the markets, right? So sometimes even though you buy a support, okay, example, this is NS. Okay, example, this bar is NS, uh, this support line is NS. So sometimes it will drop a little bit here, push back up, sideways and goes up. Okay, so this is what we call a shakeout, right? So that's why it's very important, at least, you know, you give them like a 8% of a shakeout areas, okay, for them to do a shakeout before they move up, move up higher. Okay, now this is a uh, few things that why this will happen because of the uh, overall market is weak or maybe on the day or the week itself, you know, we got some bad news coming. Okay, so uh, it will cause this kind of things, okay, in the markets. So, okay, now uh, some members will ask me why 8%, okay, why 8%, okay. Now, uh, for me, I always stick with 8% because uh, I've been trained, okay, by Martin PUSD. Okay, so this is why I say if uh, set eight percent. Okay, even until today, I just fix eight percent. Okay, so for example, right, your portfolio. Okay, just for an easy calculation purpose. Okay, your portfolio is forty k. Okay, forty k. Eh? so this is your portfolio. Okay, previously Martin training is like this. Okay, you want to split your stocks, your portfolio into four stocks. Okay, so which means you got only ten k, ten k, ten k, and ten k. Okay, so total up is is uh uh forty k. Okay, now please don't do this. Okay, please don't do this. Okay, stock number one. Okay, stock number one, you got thirty k. Stock number two, one k. Stock number three, two k. Stock number four, one k. Stock number five, five hundred ringgits. Okay, please don't do that. Okay, because I I really see some members is like this. Okay, they got. 60 stocks in the portfolios okay one or two stock very big amount the rest is 1k 2k 1k 2k 1k and 2k okay so uh uh you know like martin said you know even though this one move up a hundred percent you get gold ball okay but it's only 500 ringgits okay but if let's say this one drop 20 percent you know it's already it's very bad already to a portfolios okay so you always want to have a uh, a, a balanced type of uh, portfolio with you okay now how i get this eight percent is because uh, Martin teach me okay only risk two percent okay of my entire portfolio per trades okay so if let's say two percent which means uh, I only need to raise uh, how much okay this is 800 ringgits okay 800 ringgits okay am I right okay so 4k two percent 800 ringgits okay so which mean 800k uh, sorry 800 ringgits for per trade is eight percent Okay, so which means if I lost this trade, is only 2% of my entire portfolios. Okay, so this is how I manage my risk, previously. Okay, and I still stick with these rules. Okay, of course now my portfolio allowed me to trade uh, more than 6 stocks. Okay, as the, as the amount grew bigger, it allowed me to trade more, but I still fix at 8%. Okay, so let me know by uh, typing a 1 for me, please, okay, if you can follow so far. Okay, on this uh, portfolio uh, or maybe the 8% things because sometimes members ask me, hey, why 8%? Not 12%, not, not uh, 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 15%, okay? So a type of 2 for me if you if you lost, okay? Type of 1 for me if okay, type of 2 for me if lost, okay? So this is uh, how Martin trained me previously and I'm still still using. Of course, sometimes from time to time market is, you know, it doesn't really like allow you, hey, 8%, okay, you, 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 you cut loss there only and move down lowest, right? So sometimes it will gap down you know 10 11 percent okay so yes sometimes it will happens okay so that's why we want to try to enter very close with supports sometimes my stop loss is only five percent okay if let's say five percent six percent hit i just cut and move on okay okay thank you wong and kim for the for the confirmation okay let me know others okay <laughs> let's say this is okay for you okay so now let's do into this uh screen now again we don't want to look into uh something that is too in red colors okay i know uh, the the rubber glove counters right uh, got some sort of movement lately, especially on the on the closing on on the Fridays. So let's look into Hatta and Comforts. So again, just um, 
just my personal trading style okay i don't like to trade something is in downtrend okay something is in downtrend now even the yes you may ask that exact but this one got ns la yes got ns okay again uptrend downtrend it will still have sound strength okay it still has sound strength but um you you need to trade in the right place okay you need to trade in the right place okay now sometimes this sound strength probably it will make a temporary recovery but uh you know overall they are still in downtrend unless they show a very strong uh signals okay that you know they are having a very strong uh change of trend patterns okay probably from downtrend to accumulation okay uh and unfortunately at the moment i don't think i see this type of signals yet okay because i don't see uh, a, a good climate volume coming in to change the trend at the moment okay but no doubt there's still ns over there okay temporary probably would uh, make a temporary support areas okay i think example like here previously okay notice here we've got ns okay we've got ns 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 when we have temporary recovery before it go into downtrend again okay so that's why on the change of trend okay uh from especially from downtrend to accumulation I always want to see at least stopping volume, uh, stopping volume and back holding. Okay, to ensure that okay, yeah, this time is real one. Okay, they go into some sort of like a good and nice accumulation. Okay, now I think this stock is illustrate very best best one. Okay, because I think just now one of the member asked me about uh, Ultronic. Okay, so that's why you know I see I say okay I I kind of like it because it's in accumulation, but you know so we don't know you know how. How long this going to take? Okay, this accumulation, but I think it's in accumulation right now. Okay, because why we got some high volumes, high volumes, and you know it seems like holding what over here. Okay, now the other one, uh, if let's say you remember one of the COB stock in my list. Okay, so it's getting more interesting. Okay, we we see high volumes coming in already. Okay, for for C hub. Okay, lots of NS, and followed by high volume. Okay, so again we're gonna see something like that. Okay. So if I look going back to NS screener, okay, so this is a uh, few stocks that we have. Of course, like I said, I always want to look into green first. Okay, I think Franken is trending already, but uh, still okay. Just uh, how many percent? Just 16% and ST is 6%, I think still fine. For those that who are looking for long-term, I think uh, all writing is okay. Okay, so, but again, this is a bit close to resistance. I think they already break almost break okay so almost break but i think it's okay like, because um it's already turned to green pentagon over here and a, a nice ns in this area okay big check green pentagon should not be an issue now this is one of the very very similar one of the stocks huh, that we just thought we we discussed just now where's the stocks already uh okay never mind forwards okay so let's look into the next one, KUB. Okay, so KUB, this is a false breakout. Okay, hopefully members, you'll still remember. Okay, this, uh, something that we learned in the masterclass. Remember, this is false breakout. The volume is down. Okay, so I don't think it will go into distribution, but we want to see more sound strength. So this one still can follow because even though, yes, it's a false breakout, it's an up trust on weekly charts, but it doesn't show lots of... Um, sound weakness okay on the volume part but again sometimes especially on force breakdown we want to see at least you know few weeks like a side very low volume sound strength then from there we want to look for our entry again okay uh let's go to eta okay eta also one of my uh personally i kind of like the setups okay i kind of like the setup because it's in accumulation at least for me okay previously a pump and dump okay high volume okay sometimes it takes their times another high volume is coming back okay uh it kind of like similar like c hub okay just now so high volume subsequently this high volume holding ball uh it actually serve okay as a support resistance and you know on the closing on friday it actually turns to to ns okay it actually turns to ns okay so let's look into weekly Quickly haven't really turns yet. Okay, so still got some UTs over there. So let's see. Uh, try my luck whether I can get very close with the with the NS or not. So again, not a buy call, but you know this is you know sometimes the things that I I do technically for me. 
okay probably need to park a little bit higher okay so for example if let's say i really interested in these trades okay hopefully i can get something 96 okay close to 40 ma is around six percent but let's say the low of the gaps here okay it's still around seven to eight percent so still within my um my comfort level okay of, of stop loss okay which means if i entered 10k i'm expecting you know 800 length uh 800 ringgit of losses okay in the areas if let's say drop below okay closing the gaps okay this is the gaps area okay so if not you can actually try to use the uh 40 ma okay so stop loss or maybe the, the break pending on okay so most of the time i use the major supports okay entering very close with the ns okay i don't do rush myself uh because i think this one still move a little bit sideways because of this bar over here okay very high volumes not high volume but increasing volume okay so let's see how it goes okay so if let's say i'm risking eight percent okay let's see 16 percent is how much okay to the resistance okay main resistance is 40 percent 16 percent somewhere around here okay which is you know almost at the previous uh high sorry previous resistance uh, this area over here around one one oh one one oh okay let's see whether you can hit or not okay if let's say you can hit uh probably i will see how it goes okay because i'm looking into seb as well okay ns okay i thought this counter would work for me but it actually turns to uh green pentagon so fast okay a nice pullback this is what it means you know pullback with uh red, red pentagon but anyway it doesn't trigger the green pentagon because of the uh widespread ball over here so uh let's see whether you can test back okay on on certain supports level or not okay so i'm waiting okay so let's see which one gave me a, a, a good price okay so no rush okay no rush okay mr chong uh 96 cents is below 40 20 ma okay so i believe you're referring to the previous counters right why is the previous counters huh? okay yeah eta i always got problems to remember the stock's name okay chart pattern i can remember but stock stock's name i can remember okay below 40 m sorry below 20 ma for me still okay below 40 ma is not okay right uh for example here sometimes okay because why uh is if a stock is doing a reaccumulation most of the time it will drop below 20 ma but you want them to have more sales on the 40 ma so for example here right so here right we got uh some sound strength is building from the 40 ma so as long as for me uh the 20 and 40 is still in in, in trend okay which means they are going up uh the price then break below heavily on the 40 ma still okay right like for example past that i think some member asked me about past that because they are falling on the uh pentagon guided systems right so here we really got high volume okay so the next thing you want to be careful is, let's say it hits the 40 ma okay to 40 ma okay again if you are following the rules you follow the rules okay because uh there's a there's a there's the easiest easiest one for you if you are doing uh different methods okay then you need to look into the um volume okay so past that come with high volume okay come with high volume so you have to be careful on the 40 ma next okay all right uh let's look into sab okay let's look into sab Oh. Okay. Potential COB. Potential COB. Okay. No obvious COB yet because I think the candles is still a bit uh illiquid. Okay, still a bit illiquid, but it's getting better. Okay, it's getting better. Okay. So okay, I just put into my list first. Okay, maybe I don't know one or two months from now it will getting better. So sometimes COB counter needs them to have some uh time okay for them to form certain things okay so i think this is still in a very initial stage okay so let's do into others so sometimes if i got cob so i just put it over there first okay then we come back and look into it okay i don't think got others because this is a bit below the uh 28 40, sorry the, the lt trend okay so sometimes you know if you got loss of stocks right uh, you focus on the green and purple first. Okay, so let's look into green pentagons. Of course, you can go back to a few more days later on. Uh, but today, I think we want to keep it short. I, I look into NS pentagon. 
and I just want to share with you how I do it. Okay, tomorrow Sifu Fu will teach you on the pullbacks VF. Okay, important especially for those that attend the masterclass. Okay, Inari, very nice green pentagon, a bit similar like front can, but they break up higher already. So, uh, yep, that's it. Okay, so BJ Food. Okay, we look into something that uh, you know, Berlin really Jalan one. Okay, Inari for me is Jalan a little bit already. Okay, so okay, building a nice reaccumulation. I think it's a wash. Okay, I think it's a wash, and the volume is slightly getting better. Okay, so if you look into here, a wash. Okay, so here is like a big up trust. So again, this kind of big up trust is just like um force breakout. Okay, it's just like force breakout. Okay, remember just now we got one stop also force breakout. I think it's KUB. Am I right? So that's why it's very important after you got force breakout or, or up trust, okay? You want to see a series of uh, nice tests coming in, okay? So here we got some high volumes and uh, green pentagons, okay? Okay, weekly chart still okay, but that this up trust, uh, a bit catch up a bit, so maybe need some time to break. Okay, but the weekly chart is holding on the 22, okay, very nice. Okay, BJ. Um, okay, Alliance. Let's do the Alliance. Hmm. Volume not clear. Okay. Um, one of the reasons why. Whenever I got green pentagons, I want it to be good volumes. Okay, here is good. But you know this one is not so convincing. Eh? It's okay lah. Anyway, thirteen ringgit probably is not uh, my, uh, you know, it, it's not my list as well. Okay, so let's look into uh, this. May Bank, uh, turning back to green pentagons. Okay, let's look into May Bank. I haven't followed after it drops, uh, a few weeks ago. Wow, very good volumes. Okay, very good volumes. Okay, again we got same things here. They try to break. Okay, but feel to hold, but if you notice here, seems like they are trying to push back up. Okay, the volume is super good. Okay, so here we got green pentagons. Okay, again, these are the things that we will share during the well buildings. Okay, on next week. So here, weekly chart, green pentagon, NS. Still holding well. Okay, still holding well. Okay, let's do the CMB. Ah, CMB is not that bad. Okay, it's still holding on the 40MA. Now wait for the green pentagon to turn. Okay, so what I do is that I actually add my alerts okay, on volumes on the price. Okay, so when whenever there's high volume crossing, then uh, at least I know. White horse. White horse is also COB if not mistaken. Okay, this is C O B a bit similar like um a bit similar like C F M. Okay, but C F C F M something around here. Okay, we got uh like a shake up in this area. A a good NS by the way. Volume haven't coming back yet again. Okay, this one I just add to my list first, huh? COB, okay. Mm. Okay, this is spring. Tech cycle. Okay, it's a shakeout stocks, okay. Probably I go through my some of my list here. Then we will close for today's section, okay. So this is a shakeout trades. Okay, for members, remember to watch, especially new members, okay, remember to watch the 7 day series, okay. We will uh, in the series, we do share about what is shakeout trades, okay? NS, shakeouts, spring, okay? I think Friday, I also got some movements. Ah, okay. Haven't crossed yet, okay? Wait for them to cross, form a shakeout. Okay, cross and form a shakeout. Okay, now let's go to some of the COB stocks. Okay, because some of them actually change, uh, having some sort of like a very nice movement. Okay, now our uh, Rex Industry. 
okay this is daily chart let's look into daily first it actually cross resistance okay so here is an area that you want to look for low volume okay low volume against below 30 cent counters okay a bit a bit risky okay but overall it's a cob okay Kotra seems like getting more a little bit more quiet recently so sometimes uh, especially the first uh the first cob okay or, or maybe the first periods of cob right because this is very liquid turns to a little bit liquids this is a area that um you really need a lot of times okay three three months sometimes two months sometimes to for them to you know do a series of accumulation okay now it seems like being quiet again okay so that's why uh until i haven't entered yet okay probably i want to see more consistent volume coming back okay for quotra okay so this is cfm plc i think i i do share as well uh that is not that ready yet okay the volume the candles is changing very nicely already now for me okay example i think quotra is somewhere still around here because if you realize quotra uh, currently the open high low close rate the opening of uh, current bar and the previous bar is still got some difference okay so this is how we tell is it still illiquid or liquid okay so if I go back to Kotra okay if you realize here it still got you know the opening and closing still a bit difference right between the previous day and current day okay now if you look into CFM right now okay the, the opening and closing is getting better which means the liquidity is back, the activity is back. Okay, but just that I think they are doing a shakeout right now. Okay, so if I look into uh White Horse, okay, White Horse. Okay, uh I think they are like this at the moment. CFM, okay. I think they are like this. Okay, this is the first round, second round, shakeout completed. Hopefully we'll see something like this, okay? So again, this is just how I uh you know look into the previous charts. Try to see what is going on. You know, is the same thing going to repeat or not? Okay, based on the current charts. Okay, now type uh, A for me. Okay, if you still can follow so far, you know, uh, the difference between Kotra, uh, CFM, and, and White Horse. Okay, type uh, A for me. Okay, if you're still okay, type B for me if you're confused. Okay, so again, uh, some of the techniques that I use, okay, for, for COB. Okay, so example here, if you realize the first round of COB usually is a bit illiquid, okay, and for me this is still like considered a first round because if you realize the open high low cross on is still a bit like difference overall. Okay, now this is getting better. Okay, getting better. Okay, quality, mm, getting better as well. But again, this is probably not my priority yet. Okay, why and jetting is better. Okay, CFM I'm waiting for the shakeout to be completed. Okay, so this one as well, if you write the opening high low close is still a bit different. So we monitor for a few more uh, uh, months probably. Okay, so this one as well. Okay, now let's say C hub. Okay, I'm waiting for the big volume to, 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 to appear, right? So the opening high low close is getting better, definitely. The candle is getting better compared to left hand side. So now I'm looking for something like uh, SAB, right? Or SCB. Ah, uh, SCB. Okay, or maybe SAB, like, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, sorry. Oh, yeah, what's the stocks already? Yeah? Oh, sorry, not, not OIB. Uh, what's the stock already? I just now holding what on line change. Okay, never mind. Okay, so anyway, I want to look for more sound strength. Okay, around this area, building around this area. Okay, Fiamma. Okay, still the same. Uh, no changes at the moment probably wait for more volume okay Rexis because I'm looking into the the weekly charts okay it's kind of nice green pentagons NS above the green pentagons okay OIB I think just now we just uh, you know already discussed about OIB Planitude okay let's look into daily charts okay too close with UT so sometimes I want to see a, a shake up probably Okay, so again, this is how actually I check, okay, which one is my priority, which one is not my priority, okay. Now, Stella, okay, here, okay, not much of uh, liquidity, but here seems like the volume slowly coming back. A nice LC anyway, so uh, again, this is a kind of similar LC, like, you know, what happens to see how all these kind of counters. So what I do, I put my alerts. 
Okay, and this LC should form a support resistance. Okay, so let's see moving forwards, we can see more sound strength coming from the bottom zone. So CWG, okay, COB, and seems like they are trying to do a shake up. Okay, so support is somewhere around here. For supports, if you want to have momentum, maybe you want to wait for the shake up to be completed. Okay, a big UT, so usually they'll do a shake up. Okay, ah, this is the one that shake up completed. Okay, so here, very obvious COB, but a big break. Make a shake out, okay. Low volumes, okay. So, but we want to try to enter very close to supports, okay. So, this one as well, but this one also shake out haven't completed yet. Huh? So, we got a gaps over here with some UT, okay. Of course, you can enter somewhere around this support level, but sometimes this support level will be a bit slow, okay. A bit slow. So best one check out completed high volumes. Okay, Grand Hover. Mm, a bit similar to Hub, right? So, so we wait for the high volumes. Okay, so so far, okay, if you ask me, I think SEB will be my priority. Okay, SEB. Uh, because I just love you know the candles it forms overall after this illiquids, and uh, we got the NS over here. Okay, again, remember SCB, sorry, COB counters, it tends to need some time. Okay, sideway here, which drags you for months. Okay, so for example, just now, uh, if your portfolio got four stocks or maybe six stocks, right, you allocate one into COB. Okay, if you trade six also COB, so sometimes, you know, within this three or six months, uh, two or three months, right, your stocks, you know, it won't go anywhere. Okay, so um, let's look into hourly chart. Because I think the volume is getting lower very quite recently. I mean, on the closing of Friday, okay, very low volumes, and uh, LC coming high volume, okay, with the shakeups in between. Okay, so this is uh, that's it for today. Uh, I think I covered a little bit of dashboard and screener and uh, some of the CLB stocks, or maybe any other stocks that I mean to look into. Okay, probably I spend another five to ten minutes, uh, before we close. Okay, I can I still kind of like uh tech counters. Uh, okay, Inari. Okay, I'm I'm still holding. Okay, we got a nice green pentagon high volumes. Okay, weekly chart still trending. Uh, UWC. Okay, seems like going to test back on the twenty forties. Penta, good closing on Friday as well. Okay, so I think we discussed this counter for several times, huh? So remember, we talked about you know the COC in the weekly charts. Okay, the COC in the weekly charts. Okay. So this is Penta and uh, I think Jeff Tech. Okay, Jeff Tech seems to like hit certain resistance right now. Okay, but overall still in green pentagon weekly charts. Okay, Mr. Chong looking for IQ group. Probably I'll look into IQ groups. Then uh, we will close for today. IQ groups. Hmm. Okay, it pushing back to to uh twenty forties. Okay, it's pushing back to twenty forties. Okay, now these are a few things that I will look into. Okay, so first of all, here to here. Is hundreds and fifteen percent. Okay, so yes, a, a big movement, but it's not that uh, climactic. Okay, so I don't think it's a point though. Okay, now here it make a big pullback or maybe you know sell off distribution. Okay, around like thirty nine percent. Okay, now the good thing is that they actually pushing back high volumes, crossing back twenty forties, and uh, if you still remember, okay, especially uh, you attended the weekly trainings. This is a sign of reaccumulation. Okay, so this is a sign of reaccumulation. So I think there are there are chance for them to do a nice reaccumulation, but do remember this is just the first wave. Okay, so sometimes they will like this for 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 months. Okay, so if you look into the recent one that um having a strong reaccumulation. Okay, 
DNX. Okay, you probably want to check out how DNX move. Okay, and you just try to see whether it follow or not. Okay, for IQ text. Okay, so from here a big movements, big drop cross twenty forties. Here, notice your high volume. It cross twenty forties. So this is one of the sign to tell us that okay maybe there is a reaccumulation is coming right. So this high volume remember uh, on reaccumulation the high volume bar must hold. Okay, the high volume bar must hold in order to support the over reaccumulation. Okay, if you look into Tiongnam, I think they are having the similar things. Okay, I think you know something like Cisco, I think they are having the same things too. Right here, sideways. Okay, so I I think personally I think that IQ tag is a reaccumulation, but do expect you know this kind of movements. Okay, for 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 few months. Okay, because it it crossed the twenty forties. Okay, Zach, how do you set the background into blue and bear colors? Okay, so uh, Mary, as long as you, uh, you know, you add the pentagon indicators, uh, the background color will be there. Okay, so for example, let me show you here. Okay, so technically, uh, if I remove pentagons, okay, so this is uh your the the, the naked chart, okay, the the original chart, right? So you go to uh M uh the indicators. You go to uh, environment script. You click the first indicators. Okay, trade VSA pentagon guiders. So once you click, uh, automatically the the background color will be there. Okay, so it comes together with the pentagon indicators. Okay, now in totals currently we got three different pentagon. Okay, again something for members. Now I'm actually slowly adding the crypto pentagon for members. Okay, but uh, hopefully on fifteenth November I will I will I will you know send all the assets for all members now i'm doing by batches so we got um stock pentagon okay so if you look into here we got stock pentagon which is you know vsa trade so so w we got futures pentagon okay for those that who trade scpo or maybe crude oil or maybe gold okay you can look into non-stock sos uh, sorry non-stock pentagon sorry over here non-stock pentagon uh the, the the other one is called the uh, uh crypto okay so if you look into here crypto Okay, so this is crypto trade we said Pentagon. Okay, so this is the one that currently I'm trying to send out. Okay, I'm trying to send out. Oh, you only set the SOSW. Okay. Uh technically for stock, uh you should uh add two. Okay, so SOSW and the Pentagon. Okay, most of the time I use this two. If not, you can actually uh add the trend line as well. Okay, if you need to uh know where is the support resistance, you can actually try to add in the, the trend line. Okay. Now sis crop. Okay, example here. If I look into weekly, because it actually turns to a very nice green pentagons. Okay, so if you realize the uh, trend line, okay, it seems like sideways at the moment. Okay, sideways. So probably want to you want them to break above certain uh, resistance level for them to have some sort of like a uh, uptrend movements. Okay. All right. Any questions? If not, uh, I will close for today's section here. Okay. Again, uh, thank you for joining me today. Okay. Hopefully, you know, with this short section here, uh, members, especially members, you will learn more two things about dashboard and screener. Okay. So, uh, remember to watch the seven day series. Okay. Over here, go to, go to learning. Okay. Here, actually, you can actually try to tutorial how to right. You you can actually try to listen. Okay. What is the quick um. Uh, uh, definition okay, or how to use it okay on the sound strength sound weakness. So on Monday, Tuesday, okay, on the well building course, I will go through as well the sound strength sound weakness together with the weekly charts. Okay, so with this, thank you, and I will see you again soon. Okay, thank you, Mary, thank you, Wong, thank you, John.